As I said, it's very important to us to work with friends, people that understand our vision. Uh, it's our baby, you know, so we're very careful uh, who, we, who we approach. In the first place, we hit up my friend, close friend, Alexandre Goulet. He uh, designs all of our merch. He designed the Beast album cover. He's one of my favorite graphic designers ever. And uh, we were going through various drafts of the Purgatory album cover. And it was all sick, truthfully, but we just weren't on the same page as far as like the album cover uh, goes. So I hit up my boy Tommy at Nuclear Blast. And uh, he uh, suggested a few artists. Uh, we all looked at that uh, as a band. It's important for, uh, you know, I, I kind of take the lead here and there, but it's important for me to have everyone's blessing. It is a collaborative effort. It's not just me picking and choosing and calling the shots. That's, that's not what the Spies icon is. So we all looked at various uh, uh, illustrators together. And uh, one of those suggestions uh, was an artist, a uh, European artist named Elrond Cantor. And so we started looking at his work. He did uh, the last two Thigh Art is Murder uh, album covers, which are so sick. He worked with, what, Hate Eternal, um, a Soulfly cover. So I was like, yo, Tommy, let's hit this guy up. That's the guy. I, we really, really want to work with him. So I get introduced, hit him up, and he was like, yeah, I'd love to work with you guys, but this is way too last minute. Forget about it. Oh man, come on. So I tried to talk him up. He was like, all right, you know what? Maybe we could work from uh, one of my pre-existing concepts. Uh, so he showed me drawings that he already had and they were sick, but they just made no sense with our album concept. So I got creative and uh, told him this idea I got, uh, which is based off uh, one of my favorite tracks on the record, which is Vidange, which translates to the lives of angels. It's, it's something pretty stripped down, less is more in this case. And uh, uh, so it's a completely uh, dark environment to me. It does sort of symbolize the in-between, the purgatory itself. And uh, uh, the central character is an angel with golden wings. And uh, my perception of those golden wings are our goals, our dreams, our aspirations, and sometimes how, you know, they can just be soul crushing, man. How they can just uh, wear you down and, 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 you know, the saying, you know, find something you love and let it kill you. So I, I sort of like related to that uh, in a way. And um, on this album cover, uh, you see our main character, he can barely get his weight up. He's just crushed by the weight of those dreams, those wings. And so they're just ripping off of his body. And as soon as I uh, shared that concept with Eloran, he was all about it. Actually, the golden wings were his idea. I just had straight up wings. So I gotta give him credit for that. Uh, and uh, we got the first uh, draft and I was like, yo, this is sick, but like we're a death core or a death metal band. You know, there's no blood on there. We should have a, add a whole bunch of blood. And he was like, you know what? That's something that a, a lot of bands are doing. And maybe um, I would advise against that. And, and you know, in retrospect, I think he was right. I feel like uh, uh, it lets, uh, uh, it gives uh, more focus on the actual expression on our character's face, you know, the pure agony. And uh, in hindsight, I'm really happy we came up uh, uh, with that concept. I'm really happy that Elrond collaborated on it. I think the artwork looks sick. And I also think it looks somewhat different from uh, uh, most of the artwork that I've been seeing in, in, this, in this scene. You know, a lot of, uh, uh, apocalyptic sceneries and battlefields and stuff like that, which is which is dope. But uh, the thing with the Spies icon is we always try to stay a step ahead of the pack, so we had to come up with something different, and there we are.